Hi there, it's Ralph. Today's video is a behind the scenes of how I model the radio board. I have to confess something. I'm really bad at creating organic models. You know, like faces and hands and just humans. So if you're like me, non-organic characters like robots are a great way to still be able to create and animate your own characters. Before starting up Blender, I drew a few sketches with a good old pen and paper. Actually, no. First, I started Blender, failed miserably and closed all without saving and only then I started to draw on paper. I guess this is the basic creative process of an impatient person. Joking aside, once I had the sketch, the modeling was much easier. The most important in the beginning is to get the proportions right. Even for a simple boxy model like this one, it's all about blocking out the general shape and size. I wanted to keep it low poly, since it's going to be for a game, but not too low poly, as this might be maybe an interesting character or a funny character, a bit inspired by Claptrap from Borderlands. Oh, like this video if you love Claptrap, that would be awesome. For cylinders and spheres, it all comes down to the level of detail that you really want. Of course it should be round, but in this case it does not need to be super round and smooth. Some low poly feeling is still fine. One part I struggled a bit was the eyes, of course. Even with non-organic characters, eyes come back to haunt us. Anyway, I tried to keep it simple and find a shape that might resemble disco glasses. Like maybe this robot is funny, but also a bit obnoxious with a bad taste for fashion. Let's see. For now, it's a great first experiment and I imagine Radiobot being quite small on camera. At this point, I just finish up some details. While modeling, I always keep in mind how I'm going to animate this. For robots, I'll try to have separate objects for each moving part. This is going to make everything easy to rig and then to animate. All right, the complete robot is under 1000 polygons without optimizations. We can definitely do better, but that is not the goal right now. You should always avoid doing premature optimization. You can always optimize later when you actually have or encounter performance issues. Great. Stay tuned for the next videos. I will show you how I set up the scene and do a quick render to showcase the model. I will also show how I rig and animate RadioBot, so please subscribe to not miss that video. I thank you very much for watching, keep it up and see you next time.